questions, so so we give some time for people to join. And as every week, uh, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll start, okay? So uh, plans for the weekend, uh, relax a little bit and work. I think this is gonna be a working weekend. Uh, the weather doesn't seem to be very nice. So uh, probably it's gonna be a working weekend on things that are just coming up. So that's for me. What about you, Ivy? Um, I don't have anything really planned this weekend. Just um, relax and take some rest. For, uh, but I might go to the mall with my um, my mom and my sister. Th that's it. Nothing really special. And what about you, um, Sam? I don't know. I am in the village. I think that if I have time, I will go to the mountain. But um, right now, I am with... Uh, <laughs> the smart contracts, <laughs> so I don't want to stop. <laughs> you want to hand it over to me? But, uh, about <laughs> what the smart contracts? No, no, no. Keep them. Ah, okay. Keep keep those smart contracts because I just have to uh, jump over to the to the next before even be able to think about the weekend I, uh, plans. I just wanted to say hi to Ivy and uh, really. Uh, <laughs> uh super happy that that you're on board and uh you know for all the praising that you took off our shoulders especially <laughs> people like me who only get to uh praise on on thursdays so super cool to have you i need to jump back and thanks talk soon, thanks the more age of friendly time zone bye bye <laughs> Can I hijack okay. your meeting, Santi? <laughs> May I hijack your meeting? Sure, sure, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so I don't know if this is the biggest legal meeting you've ever had, <laughs> but uh, so many of us stewards were able to come today to welcome Ivy to this team stewards. Uh, Shebnam did let me know that she would only have five minutes, if even. So um, I want to say personally, welcome. You obviously have been a steward for a very long time, but this just makes it official. And I'm so, so happy you're here. And I'd like to pass it to everyone just to welcome Ivy personally and maybe say a few words. Uh, things have gotten so better since you joined us. So thank you so much for that. And I'll pass to Livia. Yes, welcome Ivy. <laughs> You're the you're the first receiving a, a welcome party <laughs> and you deserve it so much. You've been doing a very, very beautiful work. We all appreciate your presence and all your dedication. That is incredible. And um I acknowledge that it's so like most of our community's emotion is based on the meetings we have. And I think it's hard for you to not be in all of our meetings and just be watching them uh, on videos that makes it so less personal. So <laughs> I really, yeah, really appreciate that. And thank you for coming today and welcome. If you have any questions, you can reach out and um, yeah, you're, you're a great steward. You've been doing an amazing work and mm -hmm. I'll pass to Santi. Thank you, Libby. Well, I just want to welcome <laughs> Ivy as a new role, although she was doing it already, but this is uh, just like making making it official. I'm happy to be hosting this officiality on the Legal Working Group. <laughs> it's great. A little different meeting and I'm very happy to have you on the group. Uh, appreciate all the work you're doing. We don't see you that much, but we see all the work, which is amazing. And it's, it, it helped me a lot and all the rest of the of the members of the of the groups and and that's all i can say i love seeing those diving pictures <laughs> so uh, <laughs> i hope you share them any any other time i'll just pass it to sam here maybe <laughs> the, the time that we see it's like at the beginning on, on on my morning and it's like oh the days that i i don't have the coffee like the the time that we had a, a meeting it was like what is going on? I, I cannot concentrate. And, and just in the next time, 
uh, in the in the next hour, I, I already had a coffee with uh, with uh, and had a, a meeting with Tam, and it was like, okay, I know what I I was feeling all the time. <laughs> so super super funny to to have that, and super welcome to whatever officiality is it. But uh, it, it it surprises me because uh, I already thought that you were a, a steward, but welcome, and I will pass it to Septi. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, Ivy, it's, it's, you're amazing. I, I have the lucky to work very close to you. And every time I see an issue on GitHub and it's me and Ivy target, it's Ivy already solved the issue, you know? It's, she's amazing. I, I, yeah, I love her words. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Ivy, and welcome. I'll pass it to Griff. Yeah, you know, Ivy, you're one of our, I, I think baseball's kind of popular in the Philippines, right? And like, in, uh, have you, do you know baseball? at all Ivy? yeah yeah but it's not a very popular sport here we love basketball here in the philippines yeah for sure uh i i, I love playing basketball in the philippines because i'm so much taller than everyone <laughs> uh, but um but yeah the uh uh there's kind of like the starting pitchers and then there's the closers you know and you are like you you do all the things really well but especially closing like you're like the we start all these things and then we get like tired of them almost and you're like no they need to finish and then you finish them for us and it's so nice it is like and really just like almost anything that we don't want to do you're like oh i'll take it you know like i'm in the energy that you've brought to the transparency working group, uh, all of the praise that you dish, you know, I mean, you dished over half the praise last month, over half. I mean, that's, that's wild. You know, uh, I don't know what our company would do without you, honestly. Uh, and uh, it's been, so, we are so lucky to have you. Uh, it's really incredible. You make everything that we do so much easier. Thank you. Um, and I'll pass it to one. Uh, well, I'll pass it to Jake. Hello, Ivy. How are you? Oh my God! Did everybody check the agenda? Because I made it hard. Uh, I appreciate you so much because the praise thing is insane. Because. Me, like Griff said, I've been doing those along with Zept, and you you did. You, you're you just praising everyone. And personally, I don't know how you can sit through a recording of us and actually track all that down. I don't even remember half of the damn thing once we've done it. I don't even know how you just go back every three seconds and check what this person praised or that person praised. And that's just praise. You do a whole bunch of other stuff, too. I don't know if Zep would know what to do if you weren't there. <laughs> Anyways, I really appreciate you, and I especially because a lot of your work, you're by yourself. You're all on your own. There's no time zones that can match. I really appreciate you, and thank you very much. Uh, okay, Juan. I'm sharing the screen just so you could see uh, Jake's amazing I'm artwork. I'm sharing the screen just so you could see uh, Jake's amazing artwork. It's so cute. I love rainbows and unicorns. Um, well, I, I don't. It's so cute. I love rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> I, I jumped a little bit late, so I don't know what is the intro. But yes, I for sure, um, I'm very grateful for what Ivy is doing. And um, I think that the whole idea of transparency is going to keep growing because it's so important and so needed um, in the whole ecosystem. Jake, sorry, maybe I didn't uh, send this message to you yesterday, but we are welcoming Ivy as a, as a TEC steward. This is her welcoming party. I'm sorry, I forgot to send that to you. So welcome, Ivy. We're, I'm, we are very happy that you join us. I think everyone has gone, unless Caesar, you'd like to say a few words too? Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, 
you know, I've never not known Ivy to be a part of uh, everything. So it's it's been very clear from the beginning that that she just does phenomenal work with the praise. And so uh, congratulations on the on the official uh, title, and and uh, I think it's well deserved. Hey, thank you. Oh, yeah. I just want to say more. You know, the I couldn't. I can't help it. The quality that you bring. That's what I forgot to say. You know, it's not just like, like you could just dispraise and like, you know, make it short and just like get it done, right? But everything you do, you add this extra level of quality that I, yeah, it's unbelievable. I don't know where you, how you find the energy to add that extra like flavoring to every dish that you make for us. So it's a, uh, it's really nice. Man, you're gonna break that table. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna say um, thank you so much for the very warm welcome. I mean, even before you had this welcome party for me, even in the just in Telegram, I felt the warmth and the uh, yeah, I felt that it's, it's like a, a very, it's like a big family already. It's like a family to me already, even if I started uh, later than all of you. And um, yeah, and I always tell my friends that I'm so happy and so proud to be part of this community, even if they don't understand what we're doing. Because <laughs> I try to explain to them, but I, eventually they don't understand, so I just stopped explaining. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so yeah, so I'm so happy. I'm really happy, and it, it feels good to be talking to more people because I before I got into a common sack and TC, I don't talk. I don't know anyone I can talk to about this space. You know, and now I feel good that I found um people who have the same passion and same um interest like me. So I'm very thankful for this opportunity. <laughs> I guess we go back to the legal working. Legal is working. Thank you. Uh, you can you can you can remain on the call, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go back to work. Uh, thank you all for uh, welcoming Ivy, and uh, I think we had enough presentations today just with Ivy. So we're gonna skip the rest of you guys for the weekend. <laughs> You'll have your chance next week. Thank you again, Tom. Okay, let's jump into the documents. I was, um, I got, I got this document that Sean prepared for us. Uh, uh, I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna share my screen here. So it's, uh, it's just the document that he created out of the skeleton that he provided last week that we were discussing. And let me just share my screen here. There's a link on the agenda that uh, goes directly there, but. Uh, I'm just gonna share it here, and Sean, if you wanna just uh, lead uh, through the doc, so we uh, so we just hack it together. Yeah, sure. Um, so this was based on our uh, last two calls, and um, basically took the notes from last week and started kind of laying out in short term. So kind of trying to take my legal hat off a bit um, to kind of just put these terms together that lays out as simply as possible or in as short as possible kind of where we're at, at least in terms of the hatching and, and uh, make clear kind of where things are going from here. So the first section is just to, you know, look, this is how we got here. It's, you know, we we were man managed to hit the funding goal, so now we get to decide, you know, how exactly to launch the actual DAO. Um, and and yes, there'll be a separate document that's going to be much more thorough about what proposals will look like in that environment. But for the purposes of hatching, this is why we're here. Um, there's also that small section on what DAOs are. It's doubtful. Oh, I misspelled autonomy. That's really bad. Um, 
you know, there's an argument I think is really strong that do we really need to explain what a DAO is to people that are hatchers? And the answer is probably no. Um, but I'd rather write and then delete than, um, than not write it to begin with. So this is kind of this section just kind of lays out hey, look, it's decentralized, it's governed by the community, and <laughs> there's, it's almost like nothing's written in stone, really. Um, and so it's important that that everyone kind of understands that going forward, yeah, there's a vision, and yeah, there's there's a, an idea of what things are going to look like, but um, it's going to manage itself, and the community is going to manage itself. So those things can and, and likely will change in some ways. Uh, going down to the next section, um, which is voting in the hatch um this just i i just kind of wanted to lay out like look it's going to be dandelion voting i think i'm right that it's happening on github um and the kind of big elements of what voting in this section is like the the cost to make a proposal the quorum necessary and the time delay between uh, an approval of a proposal and the actual execution I don't know if it's it's actually not. I'm oh, sorry. No, go ahead. It's actually not, not on GitHub. Okay. Um, it's beyond the onboarding and it's all. Well, the the onboarding will be in the in the blockchain. I don't know if you want to specify that. I think that it's. A, well, but do we have? We will have. We will have the app, the daily onboarding app, right? Mm. On the DAO. Well, so so there's hatching the DAO, and that voting happens on um, the and parameterizing the hatch. That voting happens only on token log. But then there's the commons upgrade, upgrading the DAO to a commons with a bonding curve and conviction voting. That voting happens on token log first. And then it's ratified in the comments. Uh, sorry, in the TEC hashtag. It's ratified in the TEC hashtag. For the, for which, the, is the, the, which is the Dandelion voting DAO. Yes. Uh, it's uh, a, I will a not DAO with the say DAO because... Yeah. You want to call it a DAO? I, I, so, we, there will be just one DAO. Which is going to be the hatch DAO? I don't. I don't know if we are referring all the time to that hatch DAO when we call dandelion voting DAO. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call it a dandelion DAO either. I'd call it the hatch DAO, and it has the dandelion voting app. Exactly. Is is this this correct, or you want me to delete dandelion also? No, I think it's fine. It, And yeah, I agree. We have to. Uh, those are the main parameters, right? Except for voting, which which parameters will be on the proposal? These are the main parameters to that will that that that, that govern a proposal: the toll gate, the quorum, and the delay. And support required. I think support required is more important than delay. It's like support Here, required instead of delay. In, yeah, support required in voting period. The other parameters are kind of like very much less important, but the length of time that the vote lasts is pretty important. Supporting? Um... Support required right. and uh, voting period. In fact, we just standardized all of these names because they were kind of different everywhere. Um, so maybe I can. Uh, I'll put this uh, document in the legal channel. Oh, I just realized I didn't finish responding to the legal channel. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> So 
So support required minimum quorum and vote duration uh, and toll gate fee. I think those are probably the most important ones. There is rage quit period too, but I just don't think it's important enough. We just call it vote duration. But let me, I can dive into this document too and, and start hacking. Okay. Um, okay, so then moving on to that uh, uh, next section, it's sort of a what, what we would like to happen. And if I understand correctly, you know, the end game here is going to be a DAO that operates with an augmented bonding curve and a DAO that operates via conviction voting, not dandelion voting. So I, again, just kind of keeping it short and sweet, I know, you know, there's potentially going to be other people that can make proposals for what it'll look like, but I highly doubt anyone's going to propose some other version of a bonding curve um, or, or take issue with um, um, how the voting happens. So I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. That's, that's kind of what people expect to happen. Um, how to make a proposal. This, um, I want to say Juan Carlos added this last week, which I thought was really helpful. Um, and so this is kind of pointing out that obviously the um, uh, in the process of making a proposal, we obviously want people to, to think in terms of their interaction with the community. It may be worthwhile in this here, in this section, to also point out um, that there's communication in so many different channels, uh, which I do think is mentioned later. Um, oh, no, there it is, off-chain communication within the TEC forums. Um, so I think it's a good, a good spot to kind of point out um, hey, look, this is, if you're going to do a proposal, be involved with the community. This way we're not, you know, people aren't out there throwing out something for the hatching of the DAO that is just too far out there or, or contrary to what the community wants. Uh, in terms of what I thought would be a discouraged set of things to have happen, um, it was setting a, a quorum too low, which I think Griff pointed out last week, um, was an issue in, in a previous DAO. Um, uh, and along those terms, setting a toll gate too low, so otherwise people can just make proposals too easily. Um, this third section, basically it's kind of just a rage quit sentence, but that may not be as important. And we might want to, um, uh, setting support requirements too low or vote durations that are too short. But those would be the kinds of things that I imagine would be discouraged or, or not ideal. But if anyone has any additions, I am all ears. No, I think those are good. I mean, um, I mean, I think it could just be summarized that voting, well, I guess it's nice to be specific, but maybe having one more just like, or adjusting any other param parameters that, you know, are not in line with best practices of like comp of DAO governance. You know, like there's, there's things that have been learned by DAO failures <laughs> in the past. So like, don't do those, you know? Okay. Okay. That's great, Griff. Thank you. Um, and the last section, which as a, a lawyer, this is the hardest one to kind of not make a 10 page document, but these are the risks of participating. Um, so one, I just want to make clear that it's not exhaustive. Um, and that it's just a highlight of things I think people should be concerned about. Um, and so the first one is, look, you may not get the DAO that you 
imagined. And Griff, I want to make sure I got this first point right because this is something you mentioned last last week that if the the Dow doesn't hatch as imagined, that it's possible we end up with just a, a Moloch Dow. I just wanted to make sure I got that correctly. Um, the... well, I, th I think something that comes through this document a lot, which is obviously a failure on our point, is that there's the hatch, which is the creation of the Dow, and the Commons upgrade, and the and the commons upgrade is, is what you're speaking about here. So, mm -hmm. but I, exactly, it, we may end up with uh, the TEC DAO may not upgrade um, past this stage of its, you know, development. You know, maybe there's- Thank you, that's what I was trying to communicate. Yeah. I, I would remove my lockdown and it will just say that People can step off the DAO. Well, but they may not be wanting to step. They may just be wanting to try, keep trying <laughs> to make way to a conviction, to a conviction voting DAO. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so obviously we have the the smart contract bug, and yeah, while auditing has occurred, you know, things sometimes still aren't catch until they're deployed. So that's a risk. Um, you know, through the process of the the hatch, I think a, a community can kind of be created that people think is fundamentally different than what they were getting into. Um, and so it's just something I think people need to be prepared for. And then I think lastly, of course, there's no expectation of profit. This isn't a, a, you know, this isn't a get rich quick scheme or anything of that, of that nature. Um, you, for the audience, this is intended for, I don't know if we want to add every conceivable risk that we can think of, or, or even just a few more that may be big that I didn't list here, but I was trying to kind of keep it on the shorter side, but I'm all ears. I was thinking on the best thing, on the best thing period, should we, should we mention that if we finally succeed upgrading to a conviction voting DAO, should we just remind everyone that uh, there is a best thing period here? In the end, there may not be. Oh, okay. I mean, it would be crazy if there wasn't. But those are parameters that will mm -hmm. be decided by the people who are in the TC hatch. Okay, they are, they are, okay. They'll okay. be very okay. aware of it because they'll have to choose the length and they'll be confronted with it. And is there a cliff or just the best thing period? It's a cliff and a trickle, right, Sam? Uh, the way it's designed, it's a cliff and then a linear curve for unlocking. Yes, but we can avoid the, the cliff if we, if we want. Mm -hmm. So it can be just a line. Okay. The cliff could but be all a those day. are going to be, yeah, but all those are going to be parameters on the proposal, right? But yeah, exactly. Are, are, we, are we talking about the, I am not understanding. This part is going to be upgrade. part of the, of the common tool idea. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so there, there are, uh, I think what Sam is pointing out is that there are like secret vesting. Uh, there's uh, in that TC hash DAO. Uh, those aren't removed, right, Sam? They are. They they are there. We can't remove them. But it is not that important. It's just one block of vesting. Yeah, exactly. So the technocracy has decreed. That vesting will not matter for the DEC hatch. Basically, we could implement vesting, but that would just stop people from rage quitting. I think. Yeah. And we. No, no, no. I was, I was so, referring to vesting to be able to, to 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 get out. Yeah, with the bonding curve, right? Yeah, and uh, the the thing that's difficult is there are vesting parameters that were sort of hiding in the uh, from the community that exist in the TEC hatch DAO as well. 
but we just set them to one block and then moved okay. on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. And that's it. That's then, it. That's the three pages. Well, that sounds that sounds great. Uh, so after these, go, go, go ahead. I I was just gonna sing the praising praises. Thank you so much for whittling this down to three pages. It's much. It's a very nice summary of our other documents. Right, it's beautiful. So let's say if we have this document, what would be the next, the proposals document, the proposals terms, once we have the conviction voting down? I think so, yeah. At least in my notes, that was the next, mm -hmm. the next thing after this. Grief, do we have any document that we can use as a baseline, baseline for proposals? What do you mean baseline? Oh, like uh, for like terms for making proposals? Yes. Uh, you know, I haven't seen any. Sim, have you ever seen any like terms and conditions for making proposals? I was looking at LexDAO and I was surprised I didn't see anything public. There is no formal document on one hive either, right? No, you just make a, you just make a proposal. You don't have to click on the terms. Uh, wait a sec. Are we talking about the proposals people is going to be doing into the conviction voting? No, yes. we're talking. No, we're not conviction voting. We're talking about for the dandelion DAO because we're talking about the TEC hash DAO. Oh, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Right, and and yeah. We have a few things about it in the. And the gift book, just Maybe like we, what would be an expected behavior. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could use like that using as a. As a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, can like you, using the forum can, first and yeah, I'll send Can it you to share you. the leave? Can you leave? Yeah, can you share that document so we can take a look at it and and maybe decide together if we use that as a baseline and maybe tweak it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I, I I was I was cruising around after our last call looking for this and I didn't find it. So I think just like starting from scratch and keeping it simple uh, is probably the right direction. Like I was looking at other DAOs and you know the ones that have it, it's very like like LexDAO did have some or not LexDAO, the Lao. They did have something, but it was like, oh, first you have to create a Delaware corporation using this. And it's like, okay, <laughs> that's not really, it's not really going to work for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if Livy can share his, her, her screen and we can look at the GitHub uh, section that talks about that and, and maybe create that, that document from there or refer to some of the uh, terms that are already there. Yeah, this is a part I didn't edit yet, so mm -hmm. it's kind of um, right. It's mostly saying what, what the Dandelion uh, voting instance can do. What are we expecting that will be done there and what we don't want to happen? Yeah, I think that the area we're discussing here is that, that is that little section with two lines. The proposal should be posted first on the Tandilion Voting Forum section and then be submitted to the Commons using the forum proposal link. Do you see any any additional things we should take care of, Sean? Uh, it, 
it's hard for me to see this and I think, oh, maybe I'll go back and, and edit my document a little bit. Um, so yeah, I might, I might, uh, make a couple of, of language changes. Um, once I've looked at this a little closer, cause I think it's it just the first few lines, I just think it's really well written. So I, I, I might tweak some sentences here, but I, I agree that I think the, um, those two lines you pointed out, Santi, should definitely be added now. And do you think it, it would be, what do you guys think about adding the link in that first document that we were discussing into here when we talk about proposals? Instead of, instead of creating a new one, we have already this, if we tweak it a little bit and we just refer to it from the other document, the terms document. Honestly, I love that. It would be so, I, I think that maybe all of these documents could just be um, put into the handbook and linked. I don't know how you feel about that, Livia. I almost feel like that's what you were expecting, but. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. I think, for example, here in the HatchDAO session, we can add in this plus, we can add like subcategories to the HatchDAO that wouldn't be as big as the HatchDAO. And then we put all of these documents there and the links, and we can also add to the relevant resources part. We can tag it here on top when we're explaining about it. And then uh, in, the in the dandelion voting, we can do the same. So I'll still reorganize this section. And then we can talk, Shan, to add everything you, you thought was important here. That'd be great. I don't know if, uh, if those legal, docu legal documents that we're building should have somehow a little different highlight to make sure that those are, I don't know, important legal things, or we just treat them as any other regular document and we refer to them whenever we need them to do that. Do you think that, 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 that'd be useful, Sean? I, I, li I like that. I like it. It's hard for me ever to treat a legal document as just another document. Yeah. So it's, mm -hmm. there's just sort of a, a visceral initial reaction of, oh no, legal documents have to, you know, look different. But this, this organization is just so different from what you would normally run into that I have to catch myself to not fall into that trap per se. But I, I do think, you know, the legal documents may want to retain a little bit of uniqueness, but... Mm -hmm. You know, to some extent, I, I this just looks so good. I mean, I think this so much of this language I already wish I had seen before I, I started writing. Um, so I, I will definitely go back into that that hatch document and and make a few at least word changes, not not real structural changes, but just the way things are phrased here in the language. I think I'll I'll make sure I I smooth out. Well, uh, yeah. Do you guys think? One thing I don't know. Sure, sure, surely. Now, uh, Grace made a good point that legal documents should be in a PDF instead of being like in any type of way that looks editable. So what we could do is we could add a first, like here in the initial page, because here uh, Nate and Zeptimus are working on this. So in the description, we can, we can put in the very top like, please look at these documents first. They are uh, our legal agreements and then all of these other ones are our cultural agreements that are equally important, but might be good to check those. That sounds great. I guess I was just going to give a hat tip to Eleanor Ostrom, where who, who uh, kind of created this structure uh, that that Livia uh, implemented. You wanted to give a tip to Ostrom? 
Oh, it's a hat tip. It's like, you know, H slash T on Twitter. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This looks great. I just, uh, now coming back to my question, <clears throat> if we have those documents all there under the legal uh, section, uh, and then we refer to them inside the pages, should we identify them? Or is it useful or is it, I don't know, worth identifying them as legal documents? Or we just treat them as any other, any other paragraph and referring to the PDF that will be sitting there on that section? I mean, I, I think you call it out as a legal document. Well, we'll work it out somehow. I think the first step is to uh, integrate them here, which is uh, already a huge, big step forward. And then once we have them there, it's you know it's just a matter of if we think we have to identify them a slightly different, we will just with different color, with a little icon there, or whatever. What is the definition of a legal document? What makes it legal? Well, to me, and that's Sean's space, but to me, is something it's worth taking a look and not <laughs> and not going fast and clicking. I agree. <laughs> that's what I understand in our community. That's a legal document beyond beyond what the word what the wording is. You know, it's something you you wanna you wanna take a look at. So it's something that could hold you accountable in front of nation state law. Something I don't like know. That. That's a question for Sean. That's a question yeah, for Sean. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good. I mean, anything that could be basically construed as a contract, I think is is probably going to meet that. And I'd probably also add, any time you are trying to tell someone what you are or are not willing to accept responsibility for, is quote unquote legal. I mean I don't think there's some I don't think there's some grand definition of it, but when you pull up to a, a basketball park or, or a baseball park or, or a soccer field, football field, and and there's a sign that says, hey, you know, if you park here, you know, you understand a ball might go through your windshield and that's just a risk you're taking. That to me is is kind of an attempt by people literally in the community to communicate what they are and are not willing to do for you if you engage in certain behavior. So if you're going to park at a soccer field, at a football field, you're taking a risk. And if a soccer ball goes through there, you, you can't then complain about it because you were told up front, hey, no one here in the community thinks that is something that you get uh, uh, restitution for. You get... You get uh, um, taking care of for you took a risk coming here so to me part of it is is letting people know not just things that are contractually binding but but what the community is and is not willing to do um, and so I, I think that's my best description for it but that's a pretty lofty question to begin with like what exactly is a legal document yeah, I think we could wax philosophically about that all this whole entire call. Uh, I think the biggest piece here is uh, freezing it in time, at least for the in this application. Uh, that that PDF piece is like this is what you agreed to when you joined, you know. And then there's like the rest of the gitbook, which is just constantly evolving as we figure out how we want to work together, you know, and and these things. But like having this frozen in time, like this is what we all agreed to. A lot of I think also that, that there are some things that are going to be encoded in, in the hard way, in the smart contracts, and some other things that are going to be much more subjective. Those other things um, it can be there, but if they are not enforced in any way, they can be... Um, there will need. There will be no. There will be no. Um, 
nothing that will avoid that, that happening. Um, and one, bears, one option is the nation state legal system, which I'm, I'm not sure until in which point we are exposed to that. I think that we have some exposure uh, real, um, uh, launching the TC hatch, but when the, um, there is the upgrade, then we don't have that much exposure. But on the upgrade, we also have exposure to Celeste. And we can feed Celeste with subjective documents. And that subjective document, that agreement, is what I, I was showing yesterday on the on the community call. Is something that we should also agree on and, and be the kind of situation of the DAO in which people will challenge proposals. I, Again. I, I, I just want to say, Sam, I think it is extremely exciting, the covenant, but it is something that happens after the hatch. So okay. as much as I want to get started working on it, I want to like I really always want to encourage people to uh, finish the hatch first and get ready for dessert. You know, like uh, we'll have uh, once once we uh, finish making getting this stuff done. Because uh, yeah, the, I I I'm excited about the covenant and Celeste, but it doesn't happen until the commons upgrade. But I think that it's going to be one of the most important documents, and we will not be able to upgrade the the hatch into commons without that document. So, and because it's that uh, of much importance, maybe it's not so much work. Maybe we can choose to do something like Hive ha has done, in, in which is. Um, we respect the members of the community and we want to create a, a nice community for every one of us. <laughs> um, a, future, a, a future that is uh, more free, more... I mean, the manifesto or the covenant must not be very specific. It, it just has to give a little bit of direction. And then according to which are the arguments against one proposal or, or another, you you refer to the, the covenant and say, OK, I don't like that proposal because it's not going to be uh, following this part of the, because I think that it's ra racist. Or I think that yeah. it's. I, 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 it's would also, I would also say the big stakeholders here will be the TEC hatch to down token holders, right? So whatever whatever work we do now on it it will have to be reviewed by the people who are part of the tc hatch dow how, how much time do you think that 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 we will need once we have the the hatch dow hatch in, in order to be able to uh, Reorganize the, the community and online the the commons DAO. Well, there will be the token log vote uh, for parameters, and then there will so so first the hatch period has to end, right? So however long the hatch period is, and then there will be uh, then we'll have the set of uh, TCH token holders, and then that set of TCH token holders will need to propose votes. I guess anyone could have been proposing votes during the hatch period. That would be fine. But then the TCH token holders will need to vote on token log uh, for the tech parameters. And I imagine that we'd want to have that last at least a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, and then with those parameters, we could deploy. Uh, we would also need them to you know, probably sign off on the agreement. Uh, that we make for the covenants of the disputable voting and the covenants of conviction voting. Um, so, you know, the hatch period and the and then two more weeks. 
minimum. And then what if, you know, Audrey is still, what if we find some bugs in the augmented bonding curve or conviction DAO deployment that we want to use? Uh, the tech side might be a big delay too. Right? Like we actually have to deploy once the, once the DAO uh, like launches, maybe we want to do a couple test upgrades. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so the, there's, there's a minimum two weeks is what I'd say, and then ample opportunity for more delays after that. Mm -hmm. okay. So at least a month, really, because I can't imagine that we're going to do a hatch period less than two weeks. At least minimum three weeks. Yeah, I, I I will just consider that agreement as part of the parameters. Yeah, because it's going to be one of them. Oh, that's cool. So we could sling it into the token log vote, and it could be something people adjust. Yeah, there could be sets different sets of proposals for the <laughs> covenants. That would be pretty cool. Sorry for derailing, Santi. You're muted. No, no problem. Uh, I don't know. Do we have anything left today, or do we want to just close it for today and move uh, move ahead uh, next week? Uh, Libby, I'd love if we can if you can meet with Sean and and take a look at that document, and maybe if you need my help, I can jump in also and give some format or at least think on the format that we are going to be finally deciding to integrate both at the legal docs of the pdf in the in the git in the git book and from there what would be the next step griff uh yeah i mean i guess we could put these things to uh i mean we could put these things to a vote, maybe like the terms, uh, get get them structured and uh, put them out there. And so I feel like the, I don't like public votes for most things, but this is something that impacts everyone. And if we put it to a vote, we'll get more eyes. And mm -hmm. if we put it as a Google Doc, then and invite people to comment while it's up for a vote. I mean, the voting process first is put on the forum, and then. Uh, advice process and then voting, right? So it's probably a two-week process anyway. And then once we get the comments and the reviews and certain ratified through vote, PDFs and done. Do you want to put all those documents, including the first one, big one that we have in the same in the same proposal, all of them? I think so. I mean, I guess we could do different votes, but yeah, okay. So we have we, we have the the hatch terms, which is the one the big one. We have this one that we were going over today with uh, Sean, and and we which will have the yeah, and we will have the integration, which is probably not going to be even a document. The integration into the Git and the Git the Git book. So basically, we have two documents, right? Yeah. And we have the attendance, the meeting attendance terms. Do we want to include that or no? Really. I mean, those that that's something that can evolve, right? Like, mm -hmm. We're not going to yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it's barely. It's more of community agreements than legal documents, although they're of course we're recording okay. you and all that stuff. But do you, uh, Sean? Both documents are the links of both documents are on the on the. Legal Working Group agenda. The one from today is there. I added today. And last week, if you jump, scroll down to last week, you will see the, the previous ones. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think we should give it a specific formal, more formal format before converting them into PDF? I don't know. You want to take a look at those and, and decide? I'll take a look at it, maybe. OK. OK. Maybe. OK. All right. Just let me know, and, and we can work on that. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just write down the proposal. Maybe next week we can decide how to go for the proposal and get that ready for publishing on the forum and, and get the voting and move, move ahead from there. OK. And, may, and maybe next week we can start diving into, into Sam's uh, you know, concerns on, on, on the rest of the stuff. OK.
Sounds great. So, uh, Libby, let me know if you need my help talking with Sean next week and with Git, with the Git book. And and you, John, let me know about those documents, and we can work on the format. And from there, next week, next meeting, we will discuss on the forum proposal. All right. All right. Thank you. See you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.